ask you to close your eyes for a minute. And I'm going to read A World Worth Imagining. In a world unlike ours, yet not so very different, a young girl sits on top of a small hill overlooking her village. She leans thoughtfully against an old cedar. Hi, my name's Sue Holloway, and I'm a homeschooling mom, an entrepreneur, an artist, an educator, and most of all, a believer. And I believe there's hope for our future and for a world that our kids can look forward to. And I also believe now more than ever, our kids and all of us really need to be seeing the images and hearing the voices that speak of hope. And so I wrote this story. A world worth imagining in essence is about opening our minds and hearts to the possibilities and wonders of what our future might hold. It is seen through the eyes of a young girl in the future, reflecting on the beauty of her world. Seeing all that she has, it's hard for her to imagine the world her elders speak of. The time when many were driven by fear and self-interest, when the earth was sick from the ways of the people and needed to fight back to reclaim its balance. She wonders about the bravery and determination it must have taken for her ancestors to forge a new path. With gratitude, the young girl looks down on her village and sees what becomes in a world guided by respect and compassion. The story was inspired by a lovely group of young people. That is the director of the Forest School in South Gillies, Ontario. I have had the honor and privilege to work with for many years. One Earth Day morning, standing by our pond, I invited the children to close their eyes and imagine what it might look like in 100 years. One of the girls refused, not wanting to imagine a world we would have destroyed by then. Those words really hit me. They broke my heart, really. In that moment, I realized our young people understand the crisis facing the planet and its people. That message is coming to them loud and clear. They hear it, they feel it, and they understand the responsibility that comes with it. What they are not hearing are the voices of visionaries, dreamers, and believers, those who can see the possibilities of a new and brighter future. On that morning by the pond, I committed to creating a different kind of story for our children, one with a different kind of message, hope. And so I did, and it feels great, and it feels important, it's taken a while, four years, I think. It's seen a few different edits along the way. And in all its various forms, it has been read every Earth Day since that morning. And that awesome group of kids have supported me and critiqued me and nudged me all along the way. And this Earth Day, we decided it was ready. It was time to take it to the next stage. Time to get it out there in the world and for it to be one of those voices that inspires hope. And I would love if you helped make that happen. Turning her face to the sky, thank you, she whispers.